Welcome to Driving Inc. TV. I'm Rich. And I'm Sandy. And, uh... Hey, you... new gloves. You know what that means? It's the beginning of Martin season. I'm pretty sure that's what it means. Hey, hey, hey now. Hey, hey. It's my yard. I'll, I'll pick the garbage up. Okay. Yeah, except I pick it up. <laughs> so thanks for joining us. This is the beginning of our uh, season six. And here we are out at the cabin, and it's a beautiful November day. It and is. we're out to set up our Martin baits. And, and actually, we got a little bit we can check even, because we got a little bit set a couple days ago. Yeah. So it was just unbelievable weather, so it wasn't anything that we could film. But got a fresh, clean pair of gloves. Yep. Start of the season. Wait till you see what they look like at the end of the day. Yeah, at the end of day one, they look like they've been used for a whole season. <laughs> <laughs> Trapping is the cornerstone that Canada was built on. Brave and sometimes crazy men and women, fueled by the lucrative fur trade, explored and mapped our great nation. Hundreds of years have passed since then, but trapping still remains vibrant, strong, and steeped in the ancient traditions The fur bearers still follow the old paths and live as dictated by thousands of years of instinct. Fur only gets prime in the harsh temperatures of winter and trappers must respect and prepare for the weather. Trapping's past is firmly rooted in history, but today the gear and techniques have changed. Canada is still known for the best wild fur in the world, and today our pelts are sold on the global market. Our community is large, and our numbers are growing. We are trappers. This is what we do, and where we belong. Join us in our adventures. Welcome to Trapping Inc., the face of today's trapper. Hey, welcome to Trapping Inc. You're watching, oh, the very first brand new gloves. So it's a new year, new season, season six of uh, Martin Trapping. And this is the first bait that they've grabbed. That's a nice Ooh. half, half nice chunk of, of muskrat there. How's that smell, Sam? If this was smell-o-vision, <laughs> you people would lose your breakfast. <laughs> We are down in the southwest. It's late this year because somebody had a moose tag. Well, and by late, we mean like a week late. <laughs> <laughs> so not oh, like December that. late. Yeah, it's, it's the 9th of November, right? Yep. And we got out last night just ahead of the storm. It was, uh, they are forecasting 12 to 16 inches of, of rain here, or snow, pardon me, rain, <laughs> of snow before it quits tomorrow morning, which will be interesting. Uh, I don't know that we're going to get that much here. I think, I think south is going to get more than us. There we go. Anyway, this is the first one of the year. Da, 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 da. <laughs> Where's the dramatic music, Sam? I don't sing. You don't sing? I For do. For good reason. <laughs> and you don't sing either. Oh, I need to grab oh, first dab of the new lure too, Sam. You're going to have to check it out. Made this up just special. Yeah, it's okay. You can just keep walking, my friend. You're, you're upwind. Keep walking. Keep walking. Mm. It smells so good. What do we remember about this stuff? Where, about where we put this? Right at Tuca level. Yeah, right where I can run my Tuca at some point, and then later on in the, in the day, I'm gonna be going, God, I smell like skunk. <laughs> Let's go, come on, we got a lot to do.
It looks like the bear got away with the box and everything. The, the box, tree. hey. Oh well. Bears being bears, right? Yeah. You got some body parts that you're putting in there. <laughs> The nice part about it is that that don't have to be in a cabin where I live. No? No. You don't think so? I know so. Um, my hammer. Is it at your feet? No, I gave it to you. Oh, did you? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It ain't painted orange. I'm going to lose it. <laughs> you know it. Well, we film every stop. We'll know where you left it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> you think so? I know so. How many years have we been doing this particular little section of the line? Is this the year number three or year number four? Uh, five. Oh, really? We didn't do it the first year. Uh-huh. Of this trap line. So my phone is that old? Yeah, you lost it up here. <laughs> <laughs> I need a, I think I got a clip right here. One of my quick clips. Everything else. <laughs> All kinds of goodies. Yeah, I guess it's probably time for me to get a new phone then, because that phone was about a year old, wasn't it, when when I lost it? <laughs> then it spent a whole winter out here. I know. Upside I... down on the line. Yeah? We found it in spring, and uh, it worked. And it was laying a little patch of snow. Yep. Took it home and charged it. Turned it on. Kaboomy. <laughs> Kaboomy. Yeah, kaboomy. She was all good. You know what I, I forgot today? What'd you forget today? To bring a, a, a backup pair of gloves for putting lure on. Oh. I love body grips for these fur bears. They kill so quick, it's over in a hurry. I don't worry about them. Yeah, and I, you know, we point it out, I think, just about every year, but we, uh, we set these things up so that when the, um, when the trap comes out of the box, they, the animal just, it, comes away from the tree so it's not yep. going to get hit by voles and and or squirrels or anything else it's just going to be quit talking let's rock it okay <laughs> i did a piece last year where i said uh in season five where if a tree falls in the woods is aim and nobody's there can you hear it i didn't know but i knew for sure it could wipe one of my boxes off the tree well, this year we, we took it the next step. The tree the box was on fell. <laughs> <laughs> well, the good news is, though, the box is still intact. We've had, uh, this is box number seven, and I think we've we've replaced three boxes or something like that, haven't we? Yeah, three or four. Yeah. I don't think I'm going to put this one back up here. It's never, ever caught nothing in all the years. So we'll just move it to the next spot then. Well, we'll just keep it with us, that's a fact. Yeah. yeah. What's going on here? I need to get a chainsaw going. Because of course then it has a fall across the trail as well, right? It's Murphy's Law, my friend.
Strapping Inc. is brought to you by these fine sponsors. At Old Smoke's Coffee, we slow roast our coffee over a fire, making it smooth and memorable. You can order a smoked coffee online. Old Smoke's Coffee, crafted coffee for the courageous. Alfred Hyde's, unique beyond compare. Everything for the outdoors. You can shop in person or online from our vast catalog. Range Road Enterprises understands hard work. Our products work as hard as you do. See our full line of firewood processors, sawmills, and more at your nearest dealer. We hunt and trap with our Zeiss Conquest V4 and V6 rifle scopes and the new line of rings. Carl Zeiss Sport Optics. Confidence in the toughest conditions. <laughs> That's what you call the exploded uh, view diagram of, of one of my boxes. <laughs> wow. <laughs> he, he pulled her down and he flattened her. Yep. These squirrels have worked on it too, but you know, I think they probably worked on it afterwards after it was laying on the ground. But he pulled it down and just flattened it. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> we'll put a new one in, okay? Yep. I think so, yeah. Yeah, I, I think, I think this one looks like just the key. You betcha. Not in too bad a shape, hey? No, oh, it's looking good. We had a few of them get eight this year, but I think it's got to be, um, because it was so wet, I think. But stuff may, it must taste better when you got water to wash it down. We're using half a muskrat, mm -hmm. and uh, I really like the front rack on the Argo because that musk, that, this tub full of meh, <laughs> stays out here. <laughs> <laughs> hey, don't don't tell me that you're in disagreement. Oh no, I am not. They smell very much bad. How many we got now? This is 22. 22. Been a long ways to go. Almost a quarter of a way, I guess. Yeah. Dabba do ya. This is something else that Sandy likes to have right out here. <laughs> the homemade yes, lure. She does. And he <laughs> always has to stick his nose on there. Well, yeah, I didn't have to be, you know, go for the big dramatic. I no, because this is 22 times you've done that. Yeah, right? I know. <laughs> but I'm just thinking of all the Martin and Fisher's going to catch. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> now I'm videoing. <laughs> Hang on. I'm videoing you videoing. <laughs> Definition of narc narcissism? Yeah, something like that. Isn't that a beauty? Isn't that? Number one. Yep. And oh, it's, I don't even have to check to tell you it's a male. It is a male. Look at the size of him. First one of the year is a triple XL. Wow. Oh, and look how much. Uh, it's hard to tell here necessarily, but he's been rained on by the look of it, hey? Yeah, he has. But I think I can probably take this off of him. Yeah? I think so. It's a pretty warm day. It is a warm day. I, I've got my coat unzipped. You were I, saying that the uh, <laughs> heater in the Argo was putting out too much? Woo. Come on now. The Argo's putting out. Let's see. Yeah, it's loosening it, see? Yeah. It's when it's really, really cold. Well, wow, like zero Fahrenheit minus, minus 18 Celsius. That's when we have to worry about that stuff because it's frozen and the metal is cold. Oh, we still got it in there. Still got bait in there. Yeah. Oh man, he's a big one. Oh. A Mac Daddy. Yes, I'm having a problem here with getting him free of it. Driving Inc. is brought to you by these fine sponsors. Argo Extreme Terrain Vehicles conquer any season, any terrain. See all the new models at your newest dealer. Argo, go anywhere.
Southland Trailer Corporation makes the Royal Cargo Trailer used by Trapping Inc. Southland Trailer, behind you all the way. Midland Radio helps you stay in touch in the wild. Check out the new X-Talkers at your nearest dealer. Communication for every adventure. Alberta Outdoorsman Magazine. Alberta's only hunting, fishing, and trapping magazine. You can keep up with all the action at trappinginc.com or join our Facebook and YouTube sites. I'd say it's probably more. Small. Not the biggest, is it? Yeah. Okay, there's a bunch of poop there. Yeah. There's a bunch of Martin tracks around. So either this guy made up his mind, took his time making up his mind, or can you grab the hammer? Yep. This one's been here a while. It grows pretty good. Mm. We're on Bear Hill here. Yeah, this is one of our favorite places. And it catches a ton of critters, critters every year. It's just one of those places where predators go. Yeah. But the thing that happened, <laughs> the bears finally won. They, they not only broke the old, remember I had that old long box here? Yeah. They also broke the, the pole. Yep. So, let's see how this goes. If it's froze or not, nope. No, it just lifts off like nothing. Okay, good. Yeah. All frosted. Something on it there. We'll let some stuff out of the box. Well, nothing got at him. No, no, he's hanging free, so he was Well, good. yeah, so this, this uh, was over top, so he didn't get anywhere close to the ground. Take that. I will uh, up a little. I'll yeah, I'll add add some stink to her. Yeah. I don't know where the stink went. Um <laughs> I'm thinking it was on this. Oh there it is, on that nail, yeah. That was that was the old log that the bear wrecked on me. Yeah. Wow. That's a dark one. Mm -hmm. That is one dark Martin. Pretty throat patch again. <laughs> that yeah. is awesome. Well, let's get out there and see what we got. Male. Ain't been dead very long, but oh my goodness. The throat on this is just shocking. It is so pretty. Now show that to me. Now they've taken a picture of it. Look at that, huh? Isn't that lovely? Isn't that something? Yeah. Wow. Beautiful male. A beautiful male. Very cool. Yeah. Should be able to get him out of there without any oh, trouble. He's soft. Yeah. He is soft. Well, this is a new set that we set up last year, and you can see we're in the in the heavy timber, the big timber for uh, for the area, right? And it's just there's a lot of old down logs and everything, so it's not surprising when you have this in your trap. There we go, Fisher, and look at this. It just happened. Wow! It just happened. Yeah. It is, it is still soft. Yep. In a 120. Yeah. My well, goodness. The uh, 120 Belial is certified for Fisher. Yeah, well, it's just, it's so interesting that a larger animal like a, like a Fisher manages to get into something like that anyway. Well, this isn't a very big Fisher. No, that's And true. if you take a look, it actually went into the, the, the corner of the, of the trap. Yeah. Which is, didn't help the trap do its job any. Um, you know, you prefer the, 
prefer them to 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 go like this, right? Yeah. And then it gets the crowded like this. It can it can take longer for the animal to pass Expire. on. But yeah. That is still soft as can be. It's a female. Should be worth a few bucks. Yeah. Look, look at that. Look at how pretty that is, huh? Oh, she's a beaut. Absolutely. Fisher beaut. smell so they have such a remarkable smell. You know, they they're very distinct. The the odor of a fisher, right? Hmm. Yeah. Very cool. Absolutely. I'll just get this set back up. Remind me that I threw my your setters down. Yeah, because I, <laughs> otherwise we will walk away from here. And we'll have to review the footage to remember where you left them. <laughs> it's like you, I don't know. It's like it's like you've been along with me before. <laughs> it's like we've been married a really long time. Oh, ow! Oh. <laughs> I was shocked at your cheap shot at me. See what happened? See what happened? I don't often catch that on film. Uh, I wasn't. The safeties were still on. And... Oh, so no dancing around. Oh, no, no, no tears no. running down your leg or anything like that. <laughs> You're a mean woman. <laughs> you guys see how tough I got to be to run with her? Huh? <laughs> That is one heck of a first check. Absolutely. Somehow we lost track yesterday. Thought we only had five Martin and we got three today, but we actually had six. So uh, a record check for Martin. We've, all, we've, we've, we've had only eight in previous checks, so that's good. We've hit eight a couple of times, but we've never broke eight, so that was pretty good. Yeah. Considering we only have about three quarters of the line in, I'm, I'm really pleased. Yeah, and two really nice fisher. Yeah, females, yep. Yeah, three weasels. The weasels we caught first and we thought, oh yeah. my, is it going to be another year of the weasel? But then it's been mostly Martin. So what a great check. Absolutely. We had a pile of fun and I hope you guys had just as much fun as we did bringing it to you. Maybe we'll see you down the line.